Okay, so now I'm going to be recreating a vocab test, kind of. So firstly, I of course need to build the school. I'm going to make this transparent and can't collide off. Okay, so I kind of suck at building, inside of Roblox at least, but I'm going to try to make a decent school. wall here and then put that on the other side actually maybe a bit bigger of a classroom boom now I'm actually also gonna like try to recreate my English teacher mm. Okay, so this isn't really uh, anything of like a classroom. Uh, well, it doesn't feel like a classroom, so I'm just gonna take a model. Perfect. Oh yeah, that looks good. And we can put this here and then just drag it over the whole thingy. Mm. Okay, now I'll just select, select all four. And let's bring it, oops. I guess this is all right. And then there's a row to walk in over here. Let me just group all of these. Oops. So over here, I thought about like making a, a board so, make like the handle, maybe out of like wood, I guess. Actually, our, our board is a bit different. So, it's actually on the wall. And then let's make that green. This is perfect. Oh my god. Okay. Um, now, let me make that. Oops. What? Why, why can I not rename it? Okay, whiteboard. Um, I would like to write something on here, uh, but I'm not sure that's possible. I actually have the 3D text. Now, this somehow needs to be white, but I think I just changed the color. Okay, vocab test. Yeah. Let's change that to fully white. Okay, nice. I think that looks good. Maybe like a black border around it. I think that would actually be kind of nice. Boom. All right. I think that's actually kind of decent. Now we only need the teacher model. So I guess we can spawn in a rig. Let's just name it teacher. So we have our teacher, right? Um, we could give it like a, we could move like the arm. So also whiteboard, boop, whiteboard. Um, we could actually um, make the arm like stick out and then make like a, uh, a stick that points to the to the text so I guess what we could do is take the arm looks very weird oh yeah okay and then we make another is the whiteboard even anchored <laughs> yeah okay uh, and then we can do something like uh, make a stick or something. Actually, I would make that a s cylinder. I'm gonna actually try to make it uh, my teacher, so red. I guess something with like red hair. It's like reddish. It's like red orange kind of. Okay, so now if I put this into the teacher. Oh, okay, so, um, ah, oh, I'm not sure, ah, oh, I'm not sure now. Ah, uh, it doesn't look perfect. Um, okay, now for the shirt, I guess. Um, let me insert a shirt in here.
Okay, and then just get that off. I think that's all right. I'm also gonna go over to body colors and just make everything the same like normal skin tone. I'll take this one, I don't care. Uh, okay, pants. I have actually have no idea. Okay, I'll just take this one. It's all right, okay? Uh, please don't judge me. Now, I still need a face, kind of. Um, yes. I'll just, I'll take that. I'm actually, I'm actually pretty happy with that. I'm actually pretty happy with that. Okay, so now I'm actually going to recreate the UI, which is, well, it's going to be the vocab test, kind of. <laughs> so we're just going to insert a screen GUI to this. And then it's supposed to be like some scribbles. Okay, um, the first one's just going to be, I don't know, they're all going to be in English, and, the, like, we're going to have to translate. Actually, no, these are all going to be in German, and we're going to have to translate this into English. So, we're just going to do house, which means house. You might have guessed it. Okay, so now we're actually going to start scripting. So, first off, we're going to set this to disabled. Then, we're going to actually start scripting the, um... Oops, nope. Uh, the mark system. So I think what we could do is make it appear on the top bar. Okay, now let, let, first let's see if everything's anchored. Uh, so make this like appear on the top right the, with the mark. So I'm not players. Uh, So this should work. I don't know why it instantly created a folder inside, but yes. Okay, so we have our mark in there, and it successfully um, it shows as the thingy. So now we're actually gonna create a value inside of the player itself, um, so that we're gonna be able to uh, well calculate the mistakes. So we're gonna do local mistakes is equal to instance dot new. This is going to be a number value. Uh, comma player. We don't want this to appear on the top, so we're just going to do mistakes dot value equals zero and firstly mistakes dot name mistakes. Okay. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Let me just rename that to stats. Okay. Um. So. I guess that kind of works now. Just a click detector inside of the teacher. And a script inside. So we're just going to do script.parent.act. No, mouse click. Connect to function. So I think we're also going to do another one, another like uh, GUI, so another screen GUI called results. So this is going to say like calculating results or something.
So this is just gonna appear uh in a bit, and then after like I don't know, like ten seconds, I think I'm gonna make ten seconds. It's gonna actually fully um uh, say your mark, and then it's also gonna appear on the top right. I think that's pretty nice. So I'm just gonna disable this for now. Uh, so if I go over to the teacher, just a quick test. Uh, okay, is the activation distance good? Yes. So if I click this, okay, it doesn't work. Oh, I'm done. Yes. No, I know it's the issue. It's enabled, not visible. Enabled. There we go. Boom, and this is going to open up. Now, this doesn't do anything yet, but after 60 seconds, it's just going to close off the entire test. So, and you're not, I, I think you're not going to be able to do it again. I'm just going to test this out, if you are actually not able to do it again. So, if I just go in here, change this to a 5. Just for testing, I'm going to change it to 60. Back. There we go, we're just going to wait a bit. And after 5 seconds, it closes off. Click it again, nothing happens. Perfect. So, um, we have exactly what we want here. Now, I'm just going to change that back to 60, because also it would just be kind of not that much time. So, now we are probably just going to have the submit thing. So, the submit button is going to work. Uh, so, inside of the submit, we're going to insert a local script. vocab test destroy so this is gonna make it so we can't do the test again so I think this should now fully work except if I've done a mistake so let me just check this out um, so results is not a valid member of player GUI it isn't oh yeah I forgot so because it doesn't load in instantly I have to it's in a local script though. Uh picture child results. Why does it show with dot? Oops. At the end. Okay. This should work. I hope it does. Let me just check for any errors. Okay, no error this time. So we have no mark. We're gonna run over to our teacher. Click it. Okay, I'm just gonna do everything right. So Now if I click submit, waiting for the teacher to check the test, it's going to wait 10 seconds. The teacher gave you your test back. You got a 1. Please note that 1 is the best and 6 is the worst mark you can get. And look at that. So we've got our mark. Now uh, we're just going to check out the, um, we're going to check out the mistakes in a bit. So that we're actually going to do mistakes on purpose. Um, but inside of the results handler, we're also just gonna, uh, wait another, I don't know, 10 or, like, 7 seconds, and then player, wait for child, or player, dot player, gui, dot results, destroy. So, let's test this out. So, we're actually gonna use, uh, we're actually gonna do some mistakes on this one. So, I'm gonna do house, I'm gonna spell it like that, then street, I'm gonna spell it like that. Then stairs. I'm gonna spell it like that. I'm gonna spell table right, and I'm gonna spell car right as well. Okay. Now I'm gonna click submit. Now let's wait 10 seconds. And I only got a four. So um, we're just gonna wait like seven more seconds. And then it's gonna close everything off. If I try to click this again, it's, yeah, it's gonna um, give me an error because 
I haven't checked anything in there. Uh, we can actually remove that error, and I'm actually going to do that just to for reference. So inside of the script, we're just going to firstly, um, if player, not player gy wait for child vocab test, then then we're going to do all this. Boom. So yeah, now that's also going to work without any errors. So I really hope you enjoyed this little project that I made. Um, I just had the idea of doing it. It's kind of funny. And, um, you know, you can get everything, like, set up correctly and stuff. Uh, yeah, I really hope you enjoy this, and I will see you.